welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to review a lip kit actually. It is a Disney lip kit. Uh, this is the Morphe X Disney lip bundle. There's three shades in here. There is a collection to go along with it but I wasn't interested in picking up the whole thing. I was just interested in picking up part of it. So and I also am going to do another eye look with the ColourPop Hocus Pocus collection, the one that came out this year. I've done a couple looks so far on my channel, so definitely check those out if you're interested. But I wanted to do more of like a neutrally kind of look, something that will go with the crazier colors that are included in this, in this collection. Okay, so I did do my face makeup already. So I'm gonna start right in on the eyes. Uh, with this palette so if you haven't seen my review or another review before this is the ColourPop palette that came out this year right before Halloween I think it's pretty versatile okay so the first color I'm gonna go in with is this one right here called Summon Us and it's a pretty um, maybe neutrally it's gonna say cool toned but I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on me <laughs> let's see because I'm already very cool toned so it's kind of like just a beige color so you can see it's just a tad bit darker than my natural skin tone and I'm just gonna put that right on the crease and blend that in so I'm gonna use that as a tra uh, transition shade but I also kind of want to pop it on my lid okay I feel like that took way longer than <laughs> it needed to and I feel like I feel like it always does when it comes to lashes and putting them on, but anyways, um, I popped on some eyeliner at the bottom. It's just something I always usually do. Um, I'm going to go back in with Summon Us right, right here and put that on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm actually going to go into Green Newt. It's this shade right, right here. It's like a, a chocolatey brown color. And I'm going to take a angled brush and use that as like another wing. I already kind of used eyeliner up here, but I'm just going to use this shade. Okay. <clears throat> I'm also packing on that brown shade on just the edge of my lower lash line. Going in with mascara, I'm just using my favorite CoverGirl Lash Blast Waterproof Mascara on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to put a little bit of sheen or sparkle. I'm going to go in with to uh, 300 years, this one, this shade right here. And then blend it in with my finger. So it has like a pretty nice sparkle to it or shine and just a little bit on the inner corner but I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay on the like top lid if that makes sense of the inner corner okay I look is done I'm excited to try out these lipsticks now I have no idea what they're gonna be like um, I will give my honest review I'm, I'm a huge Disney fan like such a big Disney fan so I really hope I like them but I'll always be honest with my reviews. I don't have any sort of ties to Morphe, you know, the brand. I haven't ever tried them either, so no idea how that's going to work out, but this is the Disney Mickey and Friends Truth Be Bold Mega Matte Lipstick Trio, and we have the shades Bow Babe, Oh Boy, and Goody Goody, so... Excited to try this. The packaging is really cute. It looks kind of like graffiti-esque, or not graffiti, but um, paint splotches. So it looks very artistic, just like I know Morphe, the brand is kind of artistic. So um, the three lipsticks come in p uh, pink and black packaging. <clears throat> so yeah, let's just try it out okay 
Okay, so I'm going to apply this lipstick on without lip liner first, and then I want to show you what it looks like with liner because what is red right there? Because I'm sure it'll look a lot different. I usually like my lipstick with a good lip liner. So we're going to try that out. <laughs> I just realized I pronounced, I said bow babe for this color. It's bow babe. I don't know what I was thinking. Of course it's bow. <laughs> but this is the first shade. It's really pretty. It's a kind of neutrally brown tone. It's definitely more brown than neutral. Um, I'm excited to see what it looks like if it's warm or cool toned on. It kind of looks, it could go either way, honestly. So let's try it on. And just to let you know, it has the Disney logo right here and then the Morphe logo right on the lipstick itself. Okay, definitely not creamy. <laughs> Okay, this is the first shade. It's kind of a warm brown tone shade, like a neutrally nude color. Um, definitely more warm slash neutral. I I like it. I, I will definitely love it with lip liner, so I'm going to try that on with this. Right, I'm pairing the lipstick with... I'm going to actually try to use the same lip color for all the shades. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out, but this is the House, House Laboratories Lip Liner in shade. So this is in the shade Myth, and it kind of has more of an, a mauve tone, but we'll see. This is Bow Babe. It's very pretty. It's very neutral. Kind of the perfect everyday or perfect nude lipstick. Would look great in the fall. I think it would look good all year round. The lip liner looks great with it as well. The lip liner definitely makes it look a little bit more mauve-y. Um, it is a little bit more brown without the lip liner, but it's still perfect you know, everyday sort of nude lip liner. This is definitely the most wearable of the three. And yeah, I really like it. I should have definitely prepped my lips more before putting all of this on because my lips are a little bit dry today. But at the same time, like, it's kind of creamy. Like, it's not hard to go on the lipstick, but it's not super creamy. Like if you really want a creamy, ultra creamy lipstick, this one's not gonna be for you, but the color is very nice. It still goes on pretty smoothly, so I like it. I really, really like it. I think I'll definitely use this again in the future. Um, it, like I said, it's just a really easy color to pull off and to wear with anything, so it's a thumbs up from me. Okay, the next shade that I'm trying out for lip lipstick is is oh boy and it is a pretty red color this is kind of just a everyday short sort of red okay this color is harder to get on Do you see this right now? Okay, this is very hard to get on. Okay, this is very bright on. It looks pretty like your everyday short, sort of deeper red shade, like the holiday red. When you put it on, you can see it's way more bright. I really actually like the color. I think it's really pretty and true, like the perfect Mickey color, you know? So I do really like that. That being said, it was pretty difficult to get on. Once it's on, it does feel smooth. I do like it, but initially getting it on, it's not the creamiest. Um, I'm gonna use lip liner now, and I'm actually gonna use an actual red that I have by NYX in the shade Hot Red. I 
I gotta say I love this color. <laughs> I really love it. It makes your teeth look white. It's, I thought it was gonna be like a bluey red. You know, the red that is more cool toned, but this is so bright. It's very pretty. It still makes your teeth look white, but it's, but also it kind of, it's like so bright, especially in camera, it looks a little bit more like of an orange red or a warm red. I don't know how else to explain it, but I really do like it. And once you put it on your lips and it actually like blends and stays, I've got to say it looks great on the lips. Like it looks, it looks more moisturizing. It kind of just really blends and kind of blurs any lines on your lips, which look really nice. Um, and it doesn't feel dry. It's not super moisturizing. It feels pretty comfortable, and I gotta say, I feel like bold with this lipstick. I feel like confident, <laughs> and I just really like it. I'm surprised how much I like it. And I like it even more because I think they did a, such a great job with the shade color. Like, it looks like a Disney red. Like, more than... I think they, they nailed it perfectly. This looks like a Mickey red. And there is such a difference between this and, like... A really cool tone red or like a Christmas red um, or even a warm red this is just like perfect and yeah again this is, would be like the perfect holiday shade so I'm definitely gonna wear this this holiday season okay now that my lips are super dry <laughs> and stained let's go uh, review the last color this is goody goody it is a hot pink, it looks like from the color. It looks like, kind of like a purpley pink from the packaging, but let's see. It looks more like hot pink in person, I think. Oh, this is way easier to go on, the lips. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Not my shade at all. Like, at all. Um, I definitely would need a darker lip liner, and we'll see if I like it after that. <laughs> uh, also, I notice it went on pretty easy compared to the other two. But when it goes on, you can see it's like... Kind of bunches up on your lips and makes them look really like liney and almost like not opaque enough the color I don't know we'll see it I'm gonna put some liner on <clears throat> I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the first lip liner shade that I used with the first nude color and let's just see what happens I don't even know if I applied this that nicely, but I'm losing my voice a little bit, so sorry about that. So, this is a cute shade for Disney Worlds or Disneyland. If you go to the park and you want to be fun, or a Halloween look for like an alien or something. <laughs> I think this is definitely a fun color. Honestly, it looks better on camera than in person. It looks like more bright I think it looks a little more bright in person but it's just not doing anything for me it's not making my teeth look white <laughs> it's not like smoothing out my lips you can see every single like line and crevice in my lips um, so it's not really doing much for me there for the color Color doesn't suit my skin tone either. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything. So this is this one's a no for me, but I can see how it would be cute with certain lip liner and if you're doing something special like going to the Disney parks or just want to have like a fun a fun look. I I think it's more of just a fun color that you're not gonna wear every day. It's way more 
bright and lilac-y almost, like has a little bit of a lilac tone than what I thought it would be. I thought it would be more of like a hot pink color, which hot pink I feel like it would have worked a little bit better. <laughs> okay guys, so that is it. I tried on all three colors. I gotta say, I really like the nude color. It's just an everyday pretty nude that goes with everything. I'll probably use that the most. The red shade though, it surprised me how pretty it is. It's a very holiday-esque shade. Um, very bright though, very, very Disney. And I do really like that color. This shade, you have seen my thoughts. I don't really know what to think about this shade. It's a little too much for me. I hope you enjoyed this eye look tutorial as well as, you know, a review on the lipstick. Let me know what you think of these colors. And yeah, that's about it. We will see you guys, I guess, in the next video. Bye.